In addition to your calendar events, Fantastical can also handle your tasks. To add a new task, we're gonna go up and hit the plus sign, just like we're adding a calendar event. But we're gonna type a word to begin with. I'm gonna type task. And you can see when I do that, it switches it from the calendar event to the task event bar. Fantastical is smart enough to figure that out for you. That works for a variety of terms. You can also use to do. If you wanna be really geeky, you can use option B, which is the symbol for a check mark. But I'm gonna use task. So I'll just type task and then I'll type by carrots. And you can see that I've added a new task with the default list to my grocery and I just hit add task. And now if I go down to see my task lists, you can see there it is, by carrots. Now the tasks you see in this view are gonna depend on how you set up your calendar sets. So let me just take a minute to show you that. I'm gonna hit the down arrow and manage calendars. And you can see I'm currently on the Fantastical calendar set and the reminders list I've got access to on this one are Home Depot, grocery and packing list. The ones that aren't checked aren't gonna show up. So if I add a new task to the Albondigas recipe, I'm not gonna see it there with this calendar set unless I were to go and check this box. Just like calendar sets can let you set the calendars that you see, they also let you set the task lists that you see. This is really clever. So you can have work-related tasks on your work-related calendar sets and home-related tasks on your home calendar set. You can also see in this screen, I can pick the default list. I had grocery picked here, but let's say I'm gonna make it Home Depot instead. I'll go ahead and close it and let's add another task. Lately, I am really into making gumbo. So I'm gonna say buy gumbo supplies. And this time I'm going to do it on Saturday. So I'm just gonna type Saturday and if, if I type SAT or the full word Saturday, it's gonna be enough for Fantastical to figure out that it's got a due date of the 18th, which is the next Saturday as I type this. But now what's on Home Depot is the default list and I don't want it on Home Depot. This works exactly like it does with Fantastical calendar events. If I hit the slash key, then I get a list of my task lists. And if I type a few letters, I even get a more narrow list. So GR gets me grocery, I'll go ahead and hit enter, and now it's gonna put it on my grocery list and you can see it's updated for it right there. I'll just hit the return key, and now I've added the buy gumbo supplies. And if I go down to the list, you can see it's there with buy carrots, but because it has a deadline on Saturday, it's also going to appear on my Saturday list. So if I scroll down to Saturday, you can see there it is buy gumbo supplies. There's more you can do with this, however. I'm going to add another event. I'm gonna say task by light bulbs. And it's already set for Home Depot, so that makes sense. And let's say I want to go to a special website, lightbulbs.com. I'm not even sure if such a place exists, but a website probably does, and it's added the URL to the task and it's got it on the right list because my default list is Home Depot, but now I wanna add a location. So I'll type add a location and I'll say when I'm arriving. And if I type in Home Depot, I get a list of the local Home Depots. So I'll pick one and I'm good. So now I've added a task with an arrival uh, location and it's on the proper list. I hit enter and I've added that. And if I go down and look at this list again, you'll see there it is. And it's got the green check box here because that's the Home Depot list. Now there's a couple more things I wanna look at here. If you take one of these task items and right click on it, you've got several options. You can duplicate it, duplicate it as an event or create a template or even just delete the item. Let's create a template. To do that, I just click on create template. So I'm gonna go ahead and create a template for buy light bulbs. And now when I go up to here, and I go to create a new entry, you can see that I have a template for buying light bulbs. And you know it's a task because it's got the empty checkbox next to it. These templates work on both Mac and iOS and it's great for repeated items. Maybe you mow the lawn every Saturday, you wanna create a template for that, you can do that with Fantastical. I'm gonna add another buy light bulbs. It's created a task on my Home Depot list 
with a deadline of the 16th and I'm good to go. I'll click add the task. And now look, there's two of them. Now I'm gonna go back to the settings and I wanna look at the accounts tab for a minute. Thus far I've been using tasks created with my iCloud account, but Fantastical supports other services as well. If you hit the little plus button here, looking at this, you can also add your Todoist account and your Google account with your Google tasks. And of course this also works over on the iPhone and iPad. Let me show you. I'm in Fantastical on my iPhone. To see my tasks, I can just tap the calendar icon button and then tap tasks, and there they are. In fact, you can see the ones we were just working on over on the Mac. To add a new task, I just hit the plus button and then I can start typing it in. Because I was in task view, it defaults to a task item, so I don't even have to type task. I'm going to add something to my packing list. We'll say power adapter. And then to put it on the packing list, I'll hit the slash key. And you can see there's packing list right there. I'll tap on it and tap add. Now, if I look at my packing list, you can see there it is. A nice feature is I can add items directly to this list once I'm in this view. So let's say I'll say iPad, return. And now that's been added to the packing list without me going through the usual syntax. While you're in this view, you can also tap on the ellipses button to show completed items if you need to see them. I'm gonna back out of that and now go to the main view. And I'm going to the plus item again. And I can either type task, which will switch it to a task automatically, or I can throw the switch right here to say, let's do a task. And I'll add one more item to my packing list. Never forget your toothbrush. I'll hit slash P for packing list. There it is. Done and add. Now, if I go to my list again, you see the packing list has my toothbrush. Just like adding tasks, you can also check them off right on your phone and your iPad. Finally, I'm gonna to go to the settings and look at that accounts tab on the iPhone as well. Just like on the Mac, you can add the Todoist and Google accounts, which has Google tasks to manage tasks from those accounts as well with Fantastical. The ability to manage your tasks and calendar events in one app is just a win-win. So why don't you start managing your tasks in Fantastical today?